don't know if I'm going to be able to fit in there. Watch out for the rocks. That... Oh. Did you hear that one? That was crazy. Good morning and welcome back to a new episode, guys. We are on a rock in the middle of the ocean. And you can hear the island breathing here. This place is crazy, guys, and we're so excited to share it all with you. We can feel firsthand the power of the ocean here. So much crazy stuff to see inland and out of that deep water drop off. This is gonna be a good one, guys. Let's get into it. You <laughs> Don't forget to subscribe. One of the reasons we were so excited to get to this place is just offshore. There's incredibly deep water and with every surge that comes in and creates these blowholes, in with it comes a whole bunch of nutrients. That kickstarts the entire food chain here and attracts some real giants of the deep. And they can be lurking just there, like within a stone's throw. It drops down to hundreds of meters deep. And hopefully over the next few days, we'll get a chance to dive this drop off and run into some giants of the deep. How's this for infinity pool? Oh. Ooh, look at it bubbling. It's a full spa. Holy, you do not want to fall down there at the moment. The power of the ocean here is absolutely crazy. These huge waves are washing up into these rock pools. It'd be very easy to get caught off guard. <laughs> Swimming in there and then in the blink of an eye, you would get sucked off straight down those waterfalls there. This is potentially a really, really dangerous place. Just crazy though, it honestly sort of takes your breath away, that raw power like that. I've just spotted some birds that I've never seen before soaring up here. And it's actually to me these birds that give this entire place a real Jurassic Park feel. They look like pterodactyls and they've got that great big red, it's called a gula that sits kind of below their chin. It's mating season at the moment and apparently the bigger the red ball sack looking thing, gula, the stronger the male, and then of course the prettier the female. But it's those guys that, that really add to the entire feel of this place, being like something out of, out of Jurassic Park. And it does feel like you're standing on the edge of the world here with that raw power of the ocean coming in. These crazy birds that I've never seen before. What an incredible place, hey? Eh? So as the wind comes in and hits the cliffs, it creates these uprisings of air and those birds are able to just soar up there without even flapping their wings. They can stay up there all day. It's pretty amazing, hey? Big one coming. Whoa. This place is crazy. I love it. But we're about to go out with some mates on the boat and I uh, can't wait to show you underwater. Just a heads up, we get pretty shy filming in front of other people, but We'll do our best. Sun rising on one side and specky cliffs on the other. This place is like Jurassic Park. Like just the cliffs and the, yeah. the rainforest. The drop off is full of bait as well. Yeah. So much bait. Anything bigger? 
Um, big midnight snappers and there's red bars everywhere. Yeah, no, it's crazy all the birds just flying over your head. I know. One of the things that really attracted us to this spot was the chance to spear some really sought after blue water fish. So we head out off the drop off to go spear fishing. Just drop the boys in and they're gonna do some drifts for yellow fins. Fingers crossed they can see some giants. this big boy we're gonna stop to a special spot now guys and give the scraps to who would appreciate them more than us hopefully they've put on a show for us you reckon i can slide it <laughs> it's so big i'm nervous <laughs> slide in slide in go for it Look at that rock. How's oh, so that still holding? <laughs> hey, look, there's a silver bosom nesting in there. These guys are so pretty. Look at him. My favorite or our favorite is the golden one, though. These colors are just insane. I think this will be a great spot to ever cook up. Alright, 
tonight in the castaways rock kitchen we're gonna have wahoo sashimi simple yet delicious and then now we're gonna have pan fried wahoo and some rice and quinoa oh wait we'll give one tiny bit to our nesting friend <laughs> a touch of soy sauce. I love soy sauce. Alright, let's put the rice on. What an awesome spot for a catch and cook, hey? The Wahoo, that Sphinxy shot just off the drop off here cooked up on the cliff face. How cool is this? Entree smells good, Fran. Served. Nice. Yeah, I'm cooked to perfection. <laughs> Righto, what's happening now, Fran? Now, shallow fried wahoo in uh, extra virgin olive oil. <laughs> what's that? See that huge black shadow down there? What do you reckon that is, Fran? Oh, no. What is it? We really have no idea what this is. Maybe it's a shark. Maybe it's a big shark down there. I think it is a giant moray eel, like the biggest moray eel I've ever seen. Look oh at it. My God. It is, isn't it? It is, Jack. It's huge. It's like... What the hell? You reckon it won't be so wahoo? Yeah, yeah, maybe, yeah. Should I give it to Wait, wait, wait. It's like, so put it, big. Put it in the, right in the shallows, yeah. Like right here? Yeah, we got enough for us? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I don't imagine he'd normally catch wahoo, but maybe he's going to like this. This thing is huge. It was so fat and it was kind of like shape shifting. So we didn't know what it was. This place is absolutely crazy. It seems everything out here is gigantic. That must be a shark now, that one there. That's pretty cool. We've got more rays and sharks down here, guys. That wahoo is almost finished. We're going to have a pretty epic sunset. And then once that sun goes down and it gets dark, we're keen to jump back in the water there and see what crazy animals come out to play at nighttime. We might even get a better look at that shark and moray. It's going to be fun, hey, friend? I don't know if I want to see that moray eel. Yeah, to be honest, I don't <laughs> want to run into that moray at nighttime. And sunset. We're gonna swing along the edge and uh, get into the cave, see if there's any crayfish out and about. What is it? What hey, Jack, there's a pair of fish sleeping. Yeah. Yeah. The guys have just yelled at us that apparently there's a huge whale shark right off the drop off. He's swimming straight towards us. I can see it, it's just over there. Big whale, oh, big whale shark. Oh, it's huge. What's it doing? <laughs> it's just gone vertical and it started feeding. That was amazing! Oh my god! That was amazing! I can't believe what luck! I'm just blown away! This is once in a lifetime experience! Yeah. Alright, Jack has gone in that cave and he's been in there for what it seems to be a while. There must be something good in there. 
fingers crossed he comes back soon. There's some crayfish here, but they're right back in that surf zone, right where the waves are breaking in all that turbulent water. Let's see if we can get in there. So one of the guys on the island here has told us about this network of caves. Oh, <laughs> crab just grabbed me on the ankle. Uh, one of the guys has told us about this network of cave system that goes all underground here up through the rainforest and even connects out to the ocean. It sounds pretty amazing. Some of these caves have got a pretty crazy history. I wanna tell you a little bit more about that uh, in a bit, but for now, really keen to find these caves. The terrain through here. It's just crazy, hey, it's all this really, really sharp rock. And somehow there's trees managing to grow down and their roots are hanging on to these, these rocks. When you look around, it's like you're in a sort of a, a children's fantasy book or a fantasy movie. It's just a beautiful, beautiful place. Keep heading up this way. Every nook and cranny, every crevice you look in, there's another red crab in there. And there's some bigger robber crabs kind of staunching around. You hear them hiding underneath the caves here. There's a big dark cave out the back here. There's almost like a security guard at the front guarding it. Can you let us in, mate? Permission to enter your cave, Mr. Red Crab? Let's go check it out. Oh, sorry, mate. Man, how cool are these type of places? There's like Tarzan vines coming down the roof. There's these crabs crawling over the ceiling. Oh, it's pretty, pretty amazing here, but I must admit it's quite eerie. It's quite spooky. It's so, uh, so quiet, so silent in here, apart from just the pitter patter of, of crabs and insects. And this one over here? Yeah, wow, look how clear that is. So cool how the jungle, the strangle feed is staying over the rock. Caveman. That's awesome. What are we looking at there, Jack? <laughs> oh, I can smell it. We're going to have to get a bit closer to see it. Oh, it's really steep. Wow. Wow. Isn't that amazing? <laughs> This is an almighty pile of bird poo. There's a very popular spot there for the birds to sit and this must have been built up over years and years. Check it out, it'd be at least three meters tall and it smells just as bad as you'd imagine it would. So everywhere we look here, there's different creepy crawlies getting around. The crabs are generally not too much to worry about. There's heaps of spiders, potentially snakes, but they reckon the one to worry about here is the giant centipede. Once we start getting in some tight spaces later, I'm gonna be a little bit on edge for them, to be honest. He said it was down here somewhere. So the directions for this one was to find a sinkhole, which I think is this, and then there's a tiny little crack in there, and uh, to get in that, Hoping this isn't the crack. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to fit in there. I think this is the entrance, guys. No way. 
We're going in here. I'm just gonna have to crawl past a couple of these guys on the way in. Can we come in, mate? All right. Let's do it. Oh, there's a, a crab tickle on my back. slide down. I need that torch. All right, I feel like I've committed now. We're going down. I think this is the slightly concerning thing, which I know Fran was concerned about. All the rocks like this. Well, soon enough, they will end up like, like these ones here. It's only a matter of time before these things start falling down and close it in. I just hope that doesn't happen while I'm in here. So I am gonna try and keep a little bit quiet. Let's keep going down. Oh man. Just got my first look at the water down here. It is crystal clear, man. It's like something out of another planet. Wowee, that is just beautiful. Yeah, we've got to get Fran in here. I think she'd love it once she gets in. Yeah, just a bit of a heads up guys. Fran is severely claustrophobic. She is not keen at all for this mission. So she reckons she's gonna actually sit out and not go into any of these cave systems, but we'll see. I'll try and convince her to get in there. Cause it's one of those things I reckon you don't want to do it, but once you get in there, it's, uh, it's all the more rewarding. So we'll see how we go. Hopefully we can um, encourage her to get in. I'm going in. Oh, wait, wait, grab a torch. Oh yeah. I'm gonna need that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. I don't wanna fucking do it. I'm gonna have a panic attack. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh. Oh, screw this. Oh, I'm sliding in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you've got to commit to it. Yeah. Oh. Not a fan at all. Oh. That way? Yeah, this way is pretty good. Watch out for the rocks that slide up your backside. Like I'm small. Oh, yeah. oh, wow, we. That looks amazing. Oh. How is it? It's really fresh, eh? Hey? Fresh? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Cold? Very cold. It looks magical. Yeah. Like the water is turquoise. There's three minutes were definitely enough for me in the cave. <laughs> I'm gonna get out of here. You can't even see the entrance or the exit. It's so eerie. I think it's up that way, past the big robber crabs. <laughs> There's a giant robber crab up in the corner here. Wow. It's crazy. All right guys, Fran's gone out to get a fire started out there for lunch, but give her a massive thumbs up for overcoming her phobia. This was, was not easy for her. Now I just wanted to spend a little bit of time down here to fully appreciate what it would be like to have to spend a period of time in a little system like this, in a cave like this by yourself, very little light, complete pitch black. So I'm gonna stay down here for about 10 minutes or so and just try to take it in. I'll share with you what it feels like. Uh, once you get over the initial fear of any one of these rocks coming down and knocking you on the head, it is very peaceful under here. I've been here about 15 minutes, but I can't help but think if you're here for hours or days, weeks, months, I think it'll get old pretty quick. There's so many ants here. Ah! Woo! And crabs everywhere. All right, let's get this fire going. Gonna wait for this fire to settle down, throw a bit of coal and uh, put the prefix on. I think that's about it for me. Time to head out. <laughs>
It's crazy to think that if something nasty to you happened down here and you did pass away, it wouldn't be long before these guys, the robber crabs, would eat every last bit of you. Isn't that crazy? All right, let's get out of here. Before that happens, I think it's gonna be a, a belly slide type of arrangement to get out. Right, there's the opening. There's the opening. Oh, fresh air. Whew. We're out. Fresh air. <laughs> must be smelling the cooked crayfish because they're all coming down from the rocks it's quite eerie look at them coming How's it going, friend? All right, the crayfish is ready and I do think the red crabs know that as well that sense of smell, it's unbelievable. They're all coming down from the rocks. It's quite spooky. There's actually stories of um, people being injured or unconscious in the, in the jungle and being eaten alive by the crabs. It's crazy, hey? I know, it's terrifying. So little and slow, but so savage at the same time. Yeah. See how we went. Yeah. Perfect. Nice. Cooked to perfection. All right, let's see how we Whew. how we went. The fire is um, crackling. Beautiful. There's a nice pail of meat there. Now, guys, the reason we wanted to do this cook up here in the jungle is because this island's got a pretty crazy and, and haunted history. And there's a whole bunch of stories where people had to run away during the time of war and come and seek refuge in caves like this and they would literally be hiding for their lives for long periods of time they'd be eating things like the crabs around us or looking for the crayfish and like hiding like their lives depended on it eh? i know it's crazy to think how desperate they would have been to rather be in a claustrophobic spot like these caves rather than not there yeah we are so fortunate to have had the chance to explore this island for all the beauty that it has you um, my crayfish? i am actually eating your crayfish <laughs> There's going to be a fight here, guys. We better go. Thanks so much for watching, guys. That's it for this episode and this series. I hope you enjoyed this one. We'd love to come back here. See you next Sunday. Don't forget to subscribe. See you, guys.